Hi guys, welcome back. And today we're in the Faction Wars in the Shadow Kin Crypt. As I can show you here, it's the Shadow Kin. We'll be working on stage 14. We'll do stage 14. As you can see, I have three starred these in the past. So we'll jump straight into it. And then we'll tell you about the champions and everything we're using. And how we've got their masteries and things set up at the end. Now, I do not have all these champions fully booked out or everything done on them. I did, you know, if they weren't able to get the three stars, I manual them at the time. But then I have changed and taken some gear away from champions and swapped and put on other champions as well. But, you know, with this team, you are capable of three starring it. I didn't use other champions. I have Yosho in the team. I borrow Ninja, Karato, and Hot Atsu. So we have a range of legendary and epic champions using. You know, we get the burns in these champions. We get increased accuracy from the champion skills. And it's pretty quick. They can get through to the boss pretty quick with this team. Always when you come to the boss, try to take care of, you know, kill the minions first. So you don't have to worry about dealing with them. And the abilities they have. Get the counter attack on. Decreased turn meters on the boss. Continuous heals. Increased defenses as well from our champions. Increased accuracy there. You get a revival happening on death if, if the champion does die. But yeah, you will see that, you know, with these champions, you are a three-star it. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. But once you've three-starred it, you don't have to worry after that of trying to actually three-star it again. It's just uh, complete the levels then when you can, you get and try to fight your stage 21 all the time for the best rewards. So we'll go in here and we'll show you the champions, how I had them set up. We have Yosho, or Yoshi, depending on which way to pronounce it, the drunkard. He's in a speed set and perception set. His total stats, 50,353 HP, 2,346 attack, 3,309 defense, 254 speed, crit rate 29%, crit damage 104%, resist 262, and a lot of accuracy at 398. His skills, his book there. So you can see we put the books into each turn. His masteries, he's in the defense and a support role with the eagle eye. Next we have Ninja, he's in war master in the defense role and support tree. His skills, he's booked out because we use him in other areas of the game as well. His artifacts, he's set up in a perception and a relentless set. Now I have him 40,990 HP. 3,459 attack, defense at 2,269, 201 speed, 74% crit rate. You know, it would be good if you get that to 100% crit rate, but then some areas of the game I use him in, there's other champions in the team would give the increased 30% crit rate, so that's why I haven't worried about it here much to get him to the 100%. Crit damage at 232, resist to 150, and accuracy is 347. Next in our team, we have a borrow. A borrow's in accuracy and perception set. The total stats: forty-five thousand six hundred ninety-four HP, three thousand three hundred eight attack, two thousand three hundred thirty-four defense, one seventy-two speed, crit rate of seventy-seven percent, crit damage of two hundred fourteen, resist to four hundred eighty-three. At accuracy of 300. So we've got a lot of resistance on this champion. The skills. We have it booked. As you can see in each section. And then the masteries. We have set up into war, master and defense. And a defense role. Next we have. Hot Asu. Hot Asu is in war, master and support. Now we have the books. Done as well. But as you can see here, 
We have not maxed out all the artifacts and things on this champion. We could. So if you come into higher levels of doing the Shadowkin, you know, put higher items on there to, so you've got that chance of three starring it. Two sets of accuracy and a set of, a spe set of speed. Total stats we have 48,268 HP, 1,479 attack, 4,202 defense, 186 speed. We have a crit rate of 86%, 114% crit damage, resist to 151. And 304 accuracy. Last of all, we have Caratol. Now, as you can see, he doesn't have that much gear and accessories or masteries or anything done on him here. But he works at the time for what we needed in the position. As you can see, we don't have his books. Yes, if you're struggling, you can put the books and everything onto him. Put higher, better gear. You know, he's in a speed and an immortal set. So. You know, the total stats is not going to be too much. 38,961 HP, 2,028 attack, 1,910 defense, 161 speed, crit rate 50%, so you want to increase that up to 100%. Crit damage of 125%, resist to 153, and accuracy 167. So this champion, yes, you know, put your books and everything on him, put the tombs on him, masteries, you know, and you'll be a lot, a lot easier to three-star the level when you require it okay guys well, well thank you and we'll see you on the next video